In this vid, I'm going to be showing an awesome FCBM from the Lucky Pikachu. And this is actually kind of funny. When I first got this in, it was sent in a bubble mailer, and I thought it was a mistake because it was sent in this. Um, NHL uh, 11, uh, Xbox 360, and I was thinking, why is... who is sending me a video game? Um, now yes, I play video games, and actually I used to like to really play uh, hockey games um, for a few years. I, I, I really liked uh, NHL hits back when uh, I was back on the GameCube, so uh, what, maybe, oh, what, like eight, eight years ago maybe? Um, anyways, <laughs> so this is actually kind of a, an interesting surprise. I was thinking, well, maybe someone mixed my address up with someone else. I, I had ordered something off of eBay, and I was uh, I had ordered something much, much bigger than, than this. So I was really afraid that something like that had been, had been mixed up. So um, I was almost about to just uh, kind of set it aside when I was like, well, let's open it up and um, see what we have. So inside... Um, yeah, I don't want to give it away. So inside, when you open it up, uh, you've got... Uh, so at least when I opened it up, I immediately saw the Pikachu card. And I was like, okay, it is something Pokemon related. This isn't a mistake. So there is the uh, signature card, uh, Pikachu, the lucky Pikachu. And it's a legendary collection Pikachu, which is really cool. So I'll add that to my signature card collection. And then with the big in here uh, on the... Uh, the instruction booklet is how he decided to send the card, which I think is really, really creative. And the card he sent as an FCBM, Charizard Box Topper from the Legendary Collection. So for my Pokemon collection, I try and limit myself just to the cards. Uh, you know, with Pokemon, there's so many other things to collect. Figures, plushies, clothes, uh, sealed things, you know, boxes, packs... Uh, there, there's just so many different things to collect. But uh, while I, I love all the aspects of Pokemon, I try and just stick to the cards because if I try to go for absolutely everything, it would just be impossible, it'd be too expensive, I'd be millions into it. I mean, come on. If I really wanted to collect everything Pokemon, I'd have to collect the Pokemon plane, the Pokemon cars. There's just... it'd be ridiculous. So I limit myself to cards. But the one stretch that I do make is for jumbo cards. I figure it's still cards, so it's not quite cheating. But this was a card that... Um, uh, yeah, I'm just totally stoked that I got it in as a free cards. So, uh, it's actually in near mint mint condition, which is really surprising considering how old it is. And it's, uh, got a cool checklist of all the legendary cards on the back, which is actually such a bad thing to do because this, with the little boxes, it tempts you to actually mark on them. And then you ruin the card. And, oh, so... I'm definitely going to put this in a page protector, put it in my collection, and uh, we'll just, a uh, beautiful, beautiful card, the legendary reverse hollow, uh, kind of hurts your eyes to stare at it for too long, but the Charizard, totally awesome card. So again, thank you very much to the lucky Pikachu, and props to you for uh, kind of tricking me with that, uh, the video game box, completely threw me off. So. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, trades, sales, the whole, uh, the whole works.